Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. On today's video, I'm going to be doing this look for you guys, which I just created out of nowhere, out of the blue, um, when I was going to the Kings of Leon concert, uh, and I really liked how it turned out, so I just wanted to share it with you guys really quick and do like a talk through video where I just go step by step with you guys. No formal tutorial, or no formal voiceover, nothing like that, because those are like, I dread voiceover, so this is really nice and refreshing for me. My hair is doing its own thing today. I, I don't know, it's like, Lately, it's been giving me such issues. I feel like it's trying to tell me that it needs a haircut, like, really bad. So, I should probably do that. Oh, and one thing I thought I should mention, because it's pretty obvious, is I do have a new filming setup right here, back here. I'm so excited. I'm almost done, almost done with my office slash beauty room, and then I can give you guys a tour of it. I'm very excited. I've been working pretty hard on trying to find the perfect pieces for it, and I have a certain certain style, certain theme that I'm going for. So sometimes it's a little hard to find pieces that I think would go with my vibe. Um, but I can't wait to share with you guys. This room is has been a priority of mine for a while. So um, yeah, can't wait to share that with you guys in a future video if you want to see it. If you do, let me know in the comment section. Get your popcorn, get your hot Cheetos, get your slice of cake or your fruit if you are healthy on the healthy route get your fruit <laughs> or your coffee and just sit back and relax and we're just gonna go ahead and just vibe and put our makeup on <laughs> so the first thing that I'm going to use that I've been using religiously lately when I wear my makeup is the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating uh, Foundation Primer. And actually, sometimes I actually wear this just when I'm not wearing makeup, which is about 97% of the time. I actually am just like this pretty much on a day-to-day basis. Um, but when I do, I love using this because it adds that extra boost of hydration. Um, and also what I like about it is it's hydrating, but it's also oil-free. So it's not going to break you out or anything like that. So I just go ahead and I just pack it on, especially to the under eye, around the nose, all of those areas, like especially around here, you can see when your makeup cracks. So I like to apply that there. And then I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyes. This is something that I use day and night, but I didn't apply it this morning. So I'm going to go ahead and apply it. It's the Lancome Visionary um, Eye Correcting and Brightening Cream this little it says advanced multi correcting eye balm it is so good I use it day and night and it actually even makes a difference when um, I just apply it by itself without any makeup just feel like it gives my eyes a brighter look I'm good now I'm gonna go in with a primer this is my favorite primer this is the La Boss Pro primer in nude from Lancome and I just take a little bit with my ring finger I go ahead and apply it onto my lids and along the brow bone. Just blend it up towards the brow bone. I like to apply this uh, before I do my eyes and my eyebrows um, just to give it time to set in there. So I'm just really quick going to go ahead and do my eyebrows and then we're going to continue on with the tutorial. Alright, so I went ahead and I filled in my brows really quickly, and so now I just want to do this part on camera, because this is something new that I've been doing. I've been using the Lancome, um, what is this called? It's basically an eyebrow gel, and it's my absolute favorite. I have the tinted version and the translucent version, which I will show you guys here. It's basically what it looks like. Um, it does have a, a really amazing applicator that just allows you to really, like, hit all of those, um, areas in your brow that you would just like to stay put because the fluffy brow is in style this is definitely like my number one for getting that look and allowing like my la or my brows to stay in place all day your brows will literally not move like at all but they don't look stiff you know what I mean like it looks totally natural like your brows just actually stay in place like that so basically that's all I'm doing here and now I'm going to move on to my eyes. I do look really pale. My brows look really dark, but I promise it'll look better in just a second. So, um, yeah, next thing we're going to do. <laughs> next thing we're going to do. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to reach into my Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, Modern Renaissance palette. I really like this palette because it has a lot of great brown colors that are great for a base color in the crease. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use a warm taupe, which is this color right here. I'm 
so that's all done and this is basically just our base color so then I'm gonna go ahead and move in I'm going to use another palette I'm actually gonna go throw back on us and um, use my Carly uh, BH Cosmetics Carly Bybel palette which looks like this it is such an amazing palette I haven't really seen any tutorials on it lately but it's like such a great go-to especially if you have brown eyes like seriously amazing um, so we're gonna go in with the purples these beautiful purple colors oh amazing so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take um, this uh, matte mauve uh, purple color right here it's like a medium purple and I'm going to pop that into my lid and also along the crease and then I'm going to darken up the crease with this dark plum color and we're just going to let it also um, pull up into the crease as well This is just going to be our all over color and I'm really obsessed with these like purple colors. I've never really been into purple on my eyes but lately I've just really been liking it. Okay, we're going to start out in the outer part of the crease and then blend forward. And you can build this color so you want to do a light hand the lighter the hand is the lower your actual hand on the brush the harder the hand like the sharper the hand is going to be the closer you are so you want to start out like right here this is good just kind of lightly fan it And then it's okay if it looks a little choppy on the side. We're going to clean that up with some concealer. Going back in with the e.l.f. one. Just going to... Now I'm going to take the um, Lancome Grand Dual Liner and it's so pretty look at this packaging ah I know what it looks like it looks like the Louboutin nail polish isn't that cute so I'm gonna go ahead and just do a quick winged liner My hand is low-key shaking because I had um, espresso, so I hope my wings come out okay. Alright, so the eyes, for the most part, we're just going to end it right here. We're going to start to do the face, that way we can finish up the eyes. So I'm going to use my tried and true favorite mascara of the last several months, and that's the Hourglass Vanishing Stick Foundation. I am in the shade Warm Ivory. Like, ugh, it's just so good, because it's full coverage. But it can be like very lightweight if you want it to be and you can also build it to a really nice full coverage I'm talking like night out look so this was this is a recreation of what I wore to the Kings of Leon concert as I said So I'm going to do a little bit more of a full coverage look just because the concert was at night um, So what I usually do is just three nice long strokes along the cheeks Two on the chin two on the side of the nose and then two along uh, the forehead. Now I'm going to go ahead and take the uh, Hourglass uh, Vanish Foundation uh, brush that, that you can purchase separately for the foundation and this brush is just a seamless application. I promise you it's worth the money. Definitely get it if you get this foundation because it just works miracles and it blends everything so well. So here we go. So foundation is done. So now what I've been using, and this is another staple in my makeup collection as of lately, it's the um, Tarte Shape Tape, and I'm in the shade Light to Medium Honey. But honestly, I feel like it's it could be a little lighter. 
So the next time I go in uh, to Ulta, um, I'll probably get a lighter shade. So I just take a little bit, bit of it too, like up towards um, my eyeshadow so that I can really perfect the wing and um, the eyeshadow application. But you have to, it's kind of tricky, so you have to go really easy on that part because if not, you can just mess up your entire eye look. So um, any leftover, I just go ahead and apply it to the other points of the face. So yeah. So now I'm taking my Beauty Blender. This one I actually got recently. I've never had a nude one, and I actually really like it because uh, you don't see the foundation as much. So I'm going to go ahead and blend out the concealer. So then for this part, I just take the pointy side of the Beauty Blender, and I just press downwards. And it usually leaves me with like a nice, a nice line. So that way you don't, you can totally um, fix your eyeshadow without having to use scotch tape on your eyes. Because I mean, let's face it, that's not the best thing for your skin. Obviously as, you know, makeup junkies, we do it sometimes just to make it easier on us. But it's not the best thing to do. So this is another method of, if you have more time on your hands, you can use concealer to correct any mistakes in your eyeshadow or your winged liner. But like I said, it, it's a little bit um, tedious. So I just love how this freaking foundation and concealer is just absolutely amazing. I'm honestly going to lower the ISO because... I just feel like it's been looking a little too white. Please bear with me on my lighting and everything just because this is a new setup and all that so I'm still trying to figure things out that I want to film so. Alright, I'm going to take what I have left of my Laura Mercier powder which is right here and I'm just going to dip my beauty blender into it and apply that. Uh, to the areas that I highlighted. So uh, I'm actually going to use a little bit of my uh, Becca. It's in the shade, it's their soft light blurring powder. It's in the shade Golden Hour. And I'm just going to pop some of that on top. So now I look extra crazy. Alright, so now I'm going to go ahead and contour. I'm using my e.l.f. Um, cream contour palette that I use all the time. And I just can't let it go. Because... It's just my tried and true. I can't let it go. It's just so easy to work with. So I'm using uh, one of the medium shades. You can mix and match them. Sometimes I just add my brush into all of them. And then taking my e.l.f. Um, Ultimate Blending Brush, I'm just going to go ahead and blend. And it's important to get that contour color as close to your actual hairline as possible. Like get it up in there so that it doesn't look like it's just like right here and then the rest is just like light. You want to make sure it like you get it in there so like don't be scared really get in there I'll go ahead and blend more in a second um, right now I kind of want to get rid of all this so I'm just going to go ahead and take a fluffy kind of um, 
dome shaped brush and I'm going to go ahead and blend downward. I'm going to take the uh, Too Faced Matte Soleil Bronzer and I'm just going to go ahead and set the contour. For blush, I'm taking my tried and true, which is a beautiful, just matte, uh, peachy shade that I think goes really well with my skin tone. It's from MAC. Uh, my mirror is being weird. Okay. I'm just going to pop that onto the cheeks. I'm going to take first that um, first uh, lid color that we used in the Carly Bybell palette. I'm going to apply that to my lower lash line. Taking um, the dark plum color, I'm going to add that to the outer part of the lower lash line. So for the lashes, I'm going to be using the Seals Booster XL from Lancome, which is this white uh, mascara tube, and it's just this white priming mascara. I'm going to apply that to the top lashes, and this just helps um, to add extra length, like a false length and false volume to your lashes. So basically it's a great everyday primer if you don't want to wear falsies every single day because to be quite honest with you guys I was using falsies pretty frequently um, for a point in time and honestly I started noticing that my actual lashes have basically not fallen out but I don't have as many um, as much lash as I used to like I used to have a full set of lashes like natural lashes and you guys know this if you've been following my channel for a while but I feel like I don't know if it's just age and a combination of age and just wearing falsies but honestly I feel like the falsies because every time I take off my lashes my false lashes um, even if I do it the most gentle way I can possibly think of I still end up taking out one or two lashes like of my real lashes um, so that can't be good so I definitely don't recommend wearing false lashes every single day unless you're about that life but I'm not so anyway uh, after I'm done with that I'm just gonna do that to my top lashes and then I'm going to use uh, my favorite mascara of the moment which is the voluminous feline mascara from I believe it's from L'Oreal Oh, my allergies are acting up. I'm still not 100% if in this tutorial I want to do falsies or not. I'm still thinking about it. But now, on to my favorite part, which is highlight. Um, I'm going to take a just a fluffy brush um, like this. It's just like an oversized, exaggerated blending brush. I love using this brush for um, highlight. I'm using Champagne Pop. Should I use Champagne Pop? Actually, yeah, I'll use Champagne Pop. I'm gonna apply it dry. Oh, I love the Becca highlighters. You guys know this. I'm super loyal to their highlighters. 
And then I'm just going to go ahead and apply it to the brow bone. Look at this. I mean, this application is without any um, Fix Plus, nothing. Like, this is an amazing product. Hands down. So apply a little bit um, to the cupid's bow, just like a little bit. Oh, shine bright like a diamond. And then I just take any excess and I pop it into the inner corner of the eye. Okay, my nose is so lit right now. This is insane. Obviously, if you don't want that much going on, you don't need to do what I did just now. So now for the last part, which is the lips, I'm going to be using, this is exactly what I did for the concert. I used Candy K Lip Liner and Candy K um, Liquid Lipstick from Kelly Cosmetics. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the same thing. Alright, so last step, I'm just going to curl my lashes. Finished look. I really like it. I feel like this is good. Like, I, sh I would wear this during the day. Like, I would wear this now. I would go out right now and just shop or do something. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye. Yeah.